Taichung is a splash of colors. This is the picture that consistently pops on my mind when I look back on our trip around this vibrant Taiwanese city. From the ocean of different hues formed by the blooms of Chungshe Flower Market, to the paint-covered walls of the Rainbow Village, to its electric night markets, Taichung is the city that can create cheerful, colorful memories. Hey there, poor traveler! We are Vince and Josh, and in this video, allow us and our teammates Asta, Leo, and Mariah to share with you some tips on how to plan a trip to terrific Taichung. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified when we upload new travel videos. Situated on the west coast of Taiwan, Taichung is easily accessed from other port cities like Taipei in the north and Kaohsiung in the south. It is Taiwan's second largest city next to New Taipei. The economy heavily relies on manufacturing industries but lately, there is a consistent growth in the tourism sector fueled by the cultural, natural, historical, and culinary attractions. Both standard Chinese and Taiwanese Mandarin are widely spoken. Bus stops and metro stops are announced in Mandarin, Taiwanese Hokkien, English, and Hakka. Road signs and traffic signs are written in Chinese characters but most of them have English translations too. The official currency is the New Taiwan Dollar. It is highly recommended to secure NTD or USD prior to your Taiwan trip. Cash still rules but many establishments also accept credit card transactions. As for power plugs, Type A, the one with two flat pins, is the most common. Taichung is composed of 29 districts, the largest of which, in terms of land area, is the mountain district of Heping to the east. But it is the western half that is more developed and where you'll find most establishments. When choosing a place to stay, pick a property close to a train or MRT station. In particular, consider the Taichung Railway Station located in the central district. The area is a major transport hub. All types of trains to and from other cities make a stop here, establishing it as a good jump-off point to many tourist attractions. The station is also located in the heart of Taichung's road layout which follows a radial system. Several bus companies that connect to the other districts and towns also terminate here. This is the best area to stay especially if you plan on exploring other nearby destinations like Alishan or Tainan. Taichung has its own airport, the Taichung International Airport, which serves both domestic and international flights, mostly to and from Hong Kong, China, and Japan. It is Taiwan's third international airport. However, if you are coming from the Philippines, there are no direct flights between Manila and Taichung, so the best route is via Taipei or the Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport. Most local airlines offer flights to Taipei. From the airport, head to the Taoyuan Airport MRT station and catch the train to Taoyuan HSR station. Then, take the high-speed train to Taichung HSR station. If you prefer the bus, take any of these buses. If you're coming from Taipei City Center, you may take any of these train and bus options. Taichung is also accessible from the southern city of Kaohsiung. Pre-pandemic, there used to be direct flights from Manila or Clark to Kaohsiung, but they are no longer available as of this recording. Here's hoping they would be operational again when all this is over. For English speakers, there is a bit of language barrier in Taiwan, so staying connected to the internet will make your trip more convenient. Checking Google Maps, booking online, and using other travel-related mobile apps require a reliable internet connection. You have two options, purchasing a local data SIM or renting a pocket Wi-Fi. Either way, you can pick it up at Taoyuan Airport or Kaohsiung Airport. You may get one on Klook or check out the links in the description. The most common way to get around is by bus because it is probably the most accessible transportation system in the city. It connects major districts and announcements are done in four languages including English. The best thing about this mode of transportation is that you get free rides within 10 kilometers if you have an easy card or iPass. 
These are reloadable cards that you can use for transportation and other purchases. You may get one from convenience stores for only 100 NTD, excluding your load. The maximum load amount should not exceed 10,000 NTD. Taichung's MRT system finally started operating in 2021 when it opened its green line connecting Beitun District to the Taichung HSR station. It has 18 stations, four of which connect to a TRA station. This makes getting around easier, and the lowest fare is 20 NTD. Oh, by the way, TRA stands for Taiwan Railways Administration which is a government body managing the island's biggest train system. There are 23 TRA stations within Taichung Special Municipality, with Taichung Station serving as the main hub. One thing we love about major train stations in Taiwan is that we can leave our bags there. For those who are on a day trip to Taichung, you can deposit your bags at the station's baggage room. Opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The cost is 30 to 70 Taiwanese dollars per day. You can also use the lockers, which cost $30 for small and $50 for large for the first 3 hours. Meter taxis and Uber units are also plenty in Taichung. These two options are sometimes unavoidable, especially at attractions that are too far away from any bus or train station. In our experience, drivers are polite and honest. The only minor problem sometimes is the occasional language barrier, but some can speak English too. To make communication a little less challenging, download a language translation app on your mobile phone or ask the hotel reception for a card where the hotel address is written in local characters. Taichung is also bike and pedestrian friendly. There are sidewalks and they are usually wide. If your destination is near your hotel or when the attractions are close to each other, consider traveling by bike or on foot. When is the best time to visit? November to March, the driest months. Taichung enjoys a humid subtropical monsoon climate. Taiwan in general follows the four season cycle but the most pronounced seasons are the hot humid season and cool dry season. The months with the highest percentage of rainfall are June, July, and August. Typhoons are also frequent during this period, extending to September and October. The good thing is that Taichung is not usually extremely affected because the area is protected by the mountains and hills in the north and the east. From November to February, the temperature drops to its lowest. What is the tipping custom in Taichung? Well, hotels and restaurants usually have a customary 10% service charge added to the bill, so you don't really have to tip. You may still do so if you want to show your appreciation. Where to exchange money in Taichung? You may do so at government-designated banks, major international hotels, and other licensed stores. However, you might have a hard time finding an establishment that accepts Philippine Peso or other less known currencies, so it is highly recommended to buy NTD or even USD prior to your trip. You must keep your receipt if you want to exchange your excess NTD back to your local currency. Another way is to withdraw from the ATM. Just make sure to call your bank to allow international transactions. For the list of banks and accredited money exchange stores, check out this website. For those who love shopping, you can claim a tax refund when you spend at least 2,000 Taiwanese dollars in one purchase on the same day from the same TRS labeled store. TRS means tax refund shopping. Just present your passport for the tax refund form. You can claim the tax refund at your port of departure from Taiwan before you check in. Look at the custom service counter at either Taoyuan Airport or Kaohsiung Airport. There's a lot of places to visit and activities to enjoy in Taichung, but we'll save that for our next video. If you don't want to miss the part 2, don't forget to like this page if you're on FB or subscribe to this channel if you're on YouTube and tap the bell icon to get notified when we upload new travel videos. If you need more information about traveling around Taiwan, you'll find comprehensive travel guides with sample itineraries on our website, www.theportraveler.net or check out the links in the description. If you have questions, make good use of the comment section below. You can also follow us or message us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Just look for at the poor traveler, single L. If you have a Spotify or Apple Podcasts app, follow and tune in to the Poor Traveler Podcast. That's all for now. Remember, plan smart, travel safe, and make every trip worth it.